Hello, I'm Ellie for Edu for Java, and this is tutorial number 11 of SQL. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the function group by and count to count registers. The first thing we're going to do is to see what we've got. We'll see, we're going to use the authors table, which has three authors, and we can look. Here we are, the three authors, Edueli and Pedro. We can also look at the books table. We've got five books, two written by Edu, one written by Eli, one written by Juan, and one written by Pedro. Lastly, we've got the publisher table, which would be publisher. We've got Edu for Java and Edu Publi. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Something easy would be to count the authors. Edu, Eli and Pedro. How can we do this? Well, instead of just asterisk, we can use count and then asterisk. Easy enough. We run and here we are. Three. Three authors. As we've counted authors, we could just as well count books. So, write books, OK, five books. As we can see in the table of books, we've got five books. Here we are. OK, let's do something a bit more complicated. We're going to try to get the number of publication of each author. The publication, basically, are how many books are they? And what we want to know is how many are they from each author. Edu has written two. Eli has written one. Juan one also. And Pedro one. Well, let's do it over the books table. What we're going to do, what we're going to need is two columns. One with the author and the other one with how many books there are written by those authors. The first thing we're going to write is author. With this we can already see the name of the author. Here you are. Edu is twice. The correct thing would be that Edu was only written once really. And for this we're going to use group by. With this, we can put the repeated registers into groups. We have to specify in what are we going to put into a group. It will be author in this case. We want a register for each author. Execute. We have an error because I left author selected. OK, here we are. Juan Pedro, that's it. Now I would like to count them. If you remember, I had Edu twice, so now I would like a second column saying how many times does each of the authors appear. It's very simple, you just have to put a count here. We run it and you can see here, we have to understand that a uh, group by put me together two registers. Edu then has two, Eli has just one, here one, and here also. In the first case, it wrote two because Edu was written twice. If we now edit books, and for example, edit table data, we could change Pedro for Eli, for example. We run the application and see it's correct to return by Edu here and to return by Eli. The third problem we're going to resolve is we would like to know the number of publications of one publisher. As um, we saw here, 
we have two publishers here we are number one is edu for java and number two is edu public we want to know how many are there we took take a look at the books table edu for java has two one and two these two are from edu public yes and edu for Number four has no publisher. One is trying to be independent, working without a tutorial, uh, an editorial. What we want now is the number of publication of each publisher. We want a column publisher and besides this column, the publications. The publisher column would be the name of the publisher. And what we want to do is to select from, and in this case, it would be the table publisher. Here we are. In fact, what we only want of the publisher is the name. So we write name, there it is, edu for have an edu, publi. And we also need another column now with the publications here. This information is in the um, in the table books. I'm going to do it with the WHERE clause in this case. We'll also call the publisher table P and the books table B. And um, the condition, the WHERE condition would be that in P.ID publisher equals B dot id publisher and here I'll ask for all the registers from the book table okay here we are we can see the name of the publisher table and besides we've got all the registers of the books we really are not interested in the details of the books. Instead of this, I'm going to make a count because this information is uh, not necessary. I will write count. I want him to count them. Mm, this didn't work very well. It says four. I want to group by name. Okay, group by name. There we go. I'm going to group all the ones we saw before by name. And each of each name I have to, as we can see here. Edu for Hava 2. Okay, if we edit table inbox, we see that we had four, two from Edu for Hava and two from Edu Publi. Let's imagine now that the dream of Juan of being independent was impossible and he now works with a publisher. Edu for Hava in this case. We save and um, apply SQL and when we execute the query again we see that Edu Publi has three. Um, it's a bit complicated. Um, I'm planning to do some more exercises of this in the future. Please subscribe and keep in touch to be able to manage SQL, you really need to practice. So I'll try to get you some exercise so you can practice a bit with this so that you can really manage SQL. Well, this is all for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye.